Queen Elizabeth recently passed away on September 8, as the royal family confirmed through their official Twitter account. This sad news was predated by a series of critical health issues, including COVID-19 earlier in the year. But despite all of this, the queen was said to have enjoyed her final years. In fact, she might have been a bit of a gamer and even had a favorite console. Curious about which console she was a fan of? Let's jump in. What caused the queen's passing? Queen Elizabeth passed away surrounded by her loved ones at the age of 96. The cause of death was related to several health concerns she's been facing, the most notable being COVID-19 earlier in the year, which had led to her health deteriorate. Buckingham Palace confirmed that Queen Elizabeth had been placed under careful observation by doctors in recent months as they raised further concerns about her health. Ultimately, however, she passed peacefully, with only her mobility problems and several hospital visits as an indicator of her age. Right up until her final days, Queen Elizabeth was said to have enjoyed the company of her family and friends, exchanging letters with Prince Charles, her son, who has now taken the crown. Of course, this is a very sad story, and our hearts go out to the royal family during this difficult time. With that being said, it's fascinating that the queen played video games, and we can't help but wonder if she had a favorite console. Spoiler alert, she did. This humanizes the queen more than anything. It might be hard to believe, but even the queen is only human. In fact, it's quite refreshing to see that she was a fan of video games, just like the rest of us. The truth is that gamers are everywhere, and even someone as important as the queen can't help but enjoy a round of bowling. So what console did the queen enjoy the most? Interestingly enough, the video game console that Queen Elizabeth enjoyed the most was the Nintendo Wii, more specifically Wii Sports. If you don't know what that is, it was a launch title for the Nintendo Wii in 2006 and was bundled with the console itself. Wii Sports was a very special game as it was one of the first games to incorporate motion control, allowing players to interact with the game in a way that didn't involve simply mashing buttons. Let's be real, for anybody lucky enough to own the Wii, Wii Sports had such a special place in their heart. It was their first title that allowed them to feel like they were actually participating in the game. From bowling to biking to dogfights, Wii Sports allowed users to explore the island of the Wii Sports Resort, immersing themselves in the experience. The best part about it was that you didn't need to be a hardcore gamer to enjoy it, but rather an enthusiast of sports games, which is exactly who the Queen was. Did the Queen have any favorite games? While the Queen didn't have a favorite game, she was said to have enjoyed Wii Sports greatly. More specifically, she loved bowling. The story behind this is that Kate Middleton bought the Nintendo Wii for Prince Charles as a Christmas present in 2007, and the Queen was intrigued by it. Apparently, she was curious about the game and wanted to try it herself, so she took some time with it. In fact, it's said that by the end of her playtime with the game, she was quite good at bowling. This is despite the fact that many had trouble getting the game to work properly, as the motion controls were quite finicky. It's impressive that the queen of all people managed to master the art of bowling so quickly, especially considering that few people were able to figure out how to play the game properly. I mean, by all accounts, she was supposed to be a total natural. Just imagine the queen out bowling you when you've spent hours trying to figure out how to get the game to recognize your motions correctly. Ouch, that has to sting. Still, it just goes to show that Britain's late monarch was a pretty cool person. Did the queen play any other consoles? While we can't be sure, it's possible that the queen also tried her hand at other consoles. For example, she could have tried playing games on a Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, or PlayStation 4. The truth is that we'll probably never know for sure whether or not the queen tried playing any of these consoles, but there haven't been any reports of the Queen owning any of them. However, with that being said, we do know for sure that she played the Wii at some point in her life, which is pretty amazing. It's also amazing the effect that the Queen playing the Wii had on Nintendo consoles as a whole, which is something we'll get into later on. Did the Queen ever meet any famous gamers? Queen Elizabeth may have been a gamer herself, but she never really met any famous gamers, at least not to our knowledge. Still, there were some famous people that the Queen did meet during her lifetime. For example, she met the likes of Winston Churchill, Barack Obama, and Prince Harry, in case that last one wasn't obvious, seeing as they're related. Each of these people made an impact on the world in their own way, and it's pretty amazing that the Queen was able to meet 
beat all of them during her life. Though she never really met any famous gamers, she was able to have some pretty incredible experiences. And speaking of experiences, she had quite the cool one with changing the course of the Wii console. Yep, that's right. What effect did the Queen playing Wii have on Nintendo consoles? Now you might be wondering what effect the Queen playing the Wii had on Nintendo consoles as a whole. After all, if the Queen liked the Wii, that means the console must have been doing something right. Interestingly enough, the Queen playing the Wii led to the production of one of the most exclusive console releases of all time, the gold-plated Wii. The story behind this is that THQ Games, the company behind Big Family Games, a collection of family-friendly titles, partnered with Nintendo to create a limited edition gold-plated Wii console as a gift for the Queen. The console was never actually given to the Queen, however, as the palace's security measures likely prevented her from ever getting a chance to go bowling with a golden Wii remote. Still, the console changed hands between THQ and collectors. Until until it eventually made its way to eBay, where it was listed with a starting bid of $300,000. Whoa, and let's be clear, this console wasn't a joke. A 24 karat gold Wii is the real deal, but at least the owner was kind enough to let us know that it didn't come with the crown jewels of the United Kingdom. In short, Queen Elizabeth playing the Wii led to one of the most expensive consoles ever being made, which is pretty amazing. It's pretty clear that this console was loved by fans and critics alike, and the Queen was no exception so much so that she brought even more attention to the console. Though the Golden Wii is definitely a weird artifact, it still serves as an impressive tribute to the Queen and her love for gaming. Did the Queen play any board games? In case you couldn't guess, the answer is yes. The Queen loved playing board games. In fact, she was a big fan of classic party games like charades and the name game. The Queen also enjoyed playing Monopoly, so it's clear that she was quite the gamer. It's pretty amazing that the Queen was such a big fan of gaming, as it just goes to show that anybody can enjoy playing video games and board games alike. Imagining that the royal family had game nights is pretty funny, but it's clear that the queen enjoyed spending time with her loved ones. Ultimately, it just goes to show that the queen was a pretty cool person, and we're sure she'll be missed by many. The fact that the queen played not only board games, but also Wii Sports just humanizes her even more to her fans, subjects, and even critics. While there may be some criticisms of her career, it's clear that many believe her to be one of, if not the best monarchs to ever reign. Who would have thought that the final length of the longest reigning monarch would be crowned by a 24 karat golden Wii console? While the queen may not be able to play any more video games or board games, she definitely wasn't a stuck-up, far-removed tyrant that had never experienced what regular people did. All in all, the queen's passing is a very sad story. She was an amazing person who did so much for her country, and she will be missed by many. Still, it's pretty amazing that she was a fan of gaming, and we're sure that she she had a blast playing Wii Sports. I know I did. I was a god at Wii Golf, that's for sure. But that's it for this video. Let us know in the comments which Wii Sports game was your favorite, and whether or not you ever got a chance to play the Golden Wii. Another spoiler alert, you didn't. But hey, it's worth a shot.